with like junk, junk makeup that I would find. This kind of turned out pretty okay. That purple landed, lent, lent, lent. The purple lent the black, just a smidge of interesting smokiness. Oh, I forgot I winged that out there, so hi. Um, I'll never forget when I was in sixth grade, we had to move and I hated it. I hated where I lived, but there was a library that I could walk to. That's pretty okay. So I would go to the library a lot, especially in the winter. And my brother was always just like screwing around with his friends and like I could hang out with my friends too, but a lot of times they were doing stuff with their families or whatever, especially after school. They're like, we're eating dinner and him and his friends were, you know, boys running around doing whatever. And uh, I would go to the library and just hang out. And I made friends with the librarians and you weren't allowed to take magazines out. You weren't allowed to check them out. You were supposed to only read them in the library. Maybe let's try and cover this up now. Anyway, because I was such a good kid, they would let me take them home as long as I brought them back. So I would just read up everything that I could. They never really told you like technique in the magazines though. Like I would just look at the editorial pictures and that was pretty much where I would get ideas from or just remember for like later on. Then when I was in high school it was a little different because nobody wore crazy makeup like at all. It was all like brown eyeliner and brown lipstick. I guess that's the reason why I'm oh Oh, that's kind of fun. Anyway, I'm talking about doing crazy stuff, and here I go. But, um, yeah, I had a Bonnie Bell. What the hell was that? It was like a lip gloss thing. I don't know. But it was pink. It was like a strawberry pink, and I was like, holy shit. None of this. This is like looking like cheetah here <laughs> that's okay I'm all right with that talking about the 80s and here I go getting into cheetah mode so anyway this girl that I know was like oh my god what are you doing with that pink lipstick on it's not 1980 whatever and I'm like um I like it but being an impressionable 14 year old. I didn't wear it again. So I decided later on, I wasn't gonna let anybody tell me what to do. I'm gonna do uh, my foundation and stuff now. So I guess we're gonna go with Cheetah. Um, just doing like, this is like a yellowy concealer. I'll just put that in here. Um, what else? But yeah, I was always the one with makeup. Another interesting makeup tidbit that involves me is, let's see, I was 15 and oh, I hate eye gookie things like if I ever see somebody with makeup on and they have an eye gookie, I'm just like, please, like, take care of it. Anyway, oh my god, it's still not gone. Oh, bitch. Anyway, um, so my first competition for marching band was in 1994 and we all had makeup on and stuff, but my favorite's always been lipstick. Always, always, always. First of all, it's 
the easiest way to change up a look or even create a look like you just whack, like, whack some lipstick on you're good to go right so the first year we got photos taken and nobody had lipstick on well especially me <sighs> it all wore off so what I did was the second year I mean, all right, I'm cutting out for a minute from the story. My nose is red, which is interesting to me that a lot of these girls purposely do it, but honey, sun damage will do it for you once you're older. Speaking of sun damage, hi, marching band. How are you? Anyway. Oh, and I got, oh, you could see it. Don't pop your pimples, especially if they're deep. That's been there since I was like 18, and I hate it. It shows up on pictures so bad. But anyway, back to the story. Um, We didn't have any lipstick on in the picture, and I was like, ugh, I don't want a picture with no, like, lipstick on. So what I did was we had boots on that year and I shoved a lipstick in my boot and I did the whole show with a lipstick in my boot. Plus, that year we had like a torrential rainstorm. I have all this redness and stuff so that's why I'm going in with all the yellow. It was like a rainstorm, sleet, all kinds of stuff because those shows were always in November. Oh, I have another hole here. See? Go away. And they almost canceled it. My hands were frozen. Everybody, like, was all... It was ridiculous for, like, a bunch of kids to be out performing in that. But we did it. And... I also did it with a lipstick in my boot. <laughs> so, I forgot about that. I forgot that I did that. With all, all that with that lipstick in my boot. Needless to say, even with the lipstick in my boot, because of the torrential downpours and the rainstorm, um, Hold on. It just looks like the kids arguing for some reason. We won that show. And I can only hope that my kids are a part of something like that, but I don't know. I don't, I don't think that these days there's anything really out there that tests your will at, you know, 13 to 17 years old like that. I mean, maybe. I could be wrong. Okay. I don't know. I don't know about this. I know sometimes it starts to look a little nuts and then this is different. Nothing like doing a YouTube video and doing something wild and different, huh? It's not Halloween day, but whatever. sucks. I'm putting a lot of shadow on and it burns your eyes. I have eye drops because my eyes have they have like red dry eyes. Alright. So time to go in and buff this out a little more just because I'm not liking the patchiness. It's so weird, it looks more patchy to me. Okay, 
I'll go in with this. I am not happy with that whatsoever. Question is, how am I going to get the hell off? Okay, so, ooh. Let's try it. Oh, it was looking so cool at first and I was like oh yeah cheetah and then the more I did it I'm like no no not happening today it was more like a hawk moth from Miraculous Ladybug. <laughs> that one was a little more rough than the right. Hopefully, it doesn't show up in pictures. Looks like hmm. Ooh, buy orange. All right. Now that we're back on track with that. Bullshit. Make sure there's no dark on here because I was blending that before and I was like, Bleh. Okay, the other side's even. I literally almost cried there. I was like, oh my god, I'm going to stop this video and I'm going to wash my face and I'm going to do nothing because it looks like garbage. But I saved it. Yay. Alright, anyway. Time to get down to business because we're 45 minutes in and... That was a pretty long time. I still got a couple things to do. All right. Uh, let's do the brows next. Um, oh, this is just a, a dark brown pomade. I'm just going to go in and I, I do like pomade. I don't like it because... Um, it melts. It melts into your skin. And then by like a couple hours later, it's like spread out. Like a melted, gross crayon. But for this, I'll use it just because. So I want to just draw individual little hairs where I put. Let's see? 
where I extended that so it doesn't look like it's old. It's a little tedious because you've really, I'm, I have a paper towel here and I'm making sure that, oh, and this is an uh, Anastasia 7B. Making sure that it's thin, thin, thin brush. And in real life, it looks like they're like super straight down and weird. Then I'll take them and kind of make them like up into the brow, just sideways. And you don't need a lot, like the teeniest bit. I'm still working with the same brush. I only dipped it one more time. I guess I did do the other time. Let's see. I still can't get over how scary that looked, huh? It's all trial and error. So see if you do this up, it's not the end of the world. And that's what life is about, right? Learning from your mistakes. And if you don't make any mistakes, then how? Are you possibly going to learn from them? It's impossible. It's impossible to learn from your own mistakes that you don't make. You can still learn from other people's mistakes. That's for sure. I have learned from other people's mistakes a lot. Okay, so this one's a little more, like, fluffy. And it looks a little extreme, again, in real life, but on camera, it's not so bad. Because remember, everything looks smaller on camera. So, hair looks smaller, eyes look smaller. Your ass does not. It's the only thing. Features look smaller, except I want to do this. It's a little extreme look, then. Why not? It's better than that friggin' crazy cheetah shit I had going on. Uh, and see, I messed that one up. Because my right hand doesn't like to move the same way. So I'm going to use my trusty little guy. This is it's the Dream Magic Lumi. I actually have another one. Concealer, but I love the brush on the end. Because it is skinny and small. And it just literally fits right in to get rid of problems. Mm -hmm. okay. See the little on the end. It's a little fucked up, but after all the shit that I've been through doing this, it is not that bad. And you just take this guy up. So just a little bit here. Am 
going to press a little harder to try and erase it. That worked. Okay. One, two, three, let's get the underneath done. This looks like it's got some sort of freaking blue on it. That's okay. I'm just going to go in real quick with R.I.P. Oh, this guy here, just this gray. Just a gray, just to kind of smoke it out a bit. It's not perfect. Today wasn't my day, but you know. Every day can't be your day, otherwise life would be boring. Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. One good thing about this is it'll help blend in any of the other shit that's going on. I actually tried doing some like cute pretty girl bombshell makeup the other day and then it just turned out evil and I was like that's how it goes okay even though we're going evil we're gonna do some bronzer I don't have bronzer I buy this the fit me matte and poreless this one I think is co coconut so, since I have a giant forehead, always get up into your hairline. I'm sure you've seen a ton of bronzing videos if you've watched videos before. I don't really take my time and do, like, anything special, except here. I like to go right here, where your jaw connects. There's a joint there. Here to right here, where your back teeth are. Right? And then shove it in where the back teeth go. That's all you need to do. And then I'll bring it up. Any, f oh, and the angled brush. Angle it this way. So this way for this side, this way for this side. Again, hinge to teeth. I do like this fur bronzer because it does blend out really nice. And it's not shimmery. I don't want, I'm like, a contour shouldn't be like shimmery I mean I guess I know some people put bronzer all over their face and I'm like okay that's you see what I do here especially when you're doing photos if you don't it'll blend right in you won't have any separation it's hard for me to turn this way so you won't have any separation between your, and then you could just blend it down. Your jaw and your neck, you want to be able to see definition. Your lip. Um, as far as the nose goes, I'll just do it quick. I really don't do it much because I have a right here. I don't know if it's because I have a deviated septum. Um, I really don't know what I did. I do know when my children were small, I got smashed in the nose a lot by their giant heads. That could have been it. Um, but I think it was there before that. So. All right. I'm gonna take, this is a Westmore Beauty brush. It came with my blush. 
I like it to be like a blender because it's really soft. Okay, same Westmore Beauty. I like this one. This is their nude pink. They actually don't sell it anymore, which makes me sad because it's my favorite. It's just, they have a nude mauve. It's not really a mauve. It's more pink. If this, I would say, is this is mauve. Their nude pink that they have is actually, I don't know, not their nude pink. This is spotlight. Their nude mauve is this. It's nude mauve. That doesn't, that's pink. It's more mauve. So. I won them on like Instagram a couple years ago and they have a little bit of shimmer it's pretty cool right, next this is the L'Oreal true match shimmerista it's like a white I got for like 14 bucks I didn't think it was bad I don't want to pay like a million dollars for anything really because so for dark looks like this I like this one I got an another highlight that's um, a Milani one I got it at Target for like four bucks I think it was like the end of the summer maybe this one's just weird on the forehead because it's like really really white so you just gotta not do too much on the forehead otherwise you get that super glazed donut look mm, that's cute I didn't even do powder today I'm not even going to worry about it You've done enough, bitch. Alright. Oh, and one thing that I like to do a lot, too, and I always forget until the very end. I don't know if I have a dark brown. Oh, and I have my mascara to do, too. This is like a black brown, but... I have this mole, so I just kind of bring it out a little bit more. All right, mascara. This one is Ever. A friend of mine sells it. It's old, so it's not going to work as good as it usually does. I'm getting some new ones because they're like buy one, get one free this month. So what I'll do is just do a light coat first. If I don't have liner on my top lash, I try not to go too far into my lid. Only because you'll get the mascara on your eyelid and it's just a giant pain in the ass. But if you do a light coat first and then go in, and then you could like spin the brush and like lift them and it works because you already got that coat there that kind of like keeps it away All right. it's not perfect I don't like a crap ton on my lower lashes. I just like enough so you can see it. And I'm just spinning and pulling up. So put it in the base of your lash and spin it like inward and out. Do 
these lashes are a little messed up because I got a lash lift done and I think some of the solution got on them or something because they've just been a little jacked since then. It's okay. It'll go away. It's just temporary. Okay. Not looking so horrible. Eye drops just because my eyes are and I can't drop it into my eyes. I have to like stick it in my eyeball. Alright, lips. Let's see. I need more lip stuff. Maybe. That pink kind of turned purple, but. easy. This is just like a NARS lip crayon. I think I want to do this and then do... What the fuck? Oh, and then do like glossy. Gotta love January with that constant dry lip. Ugh. Okay, since I'm gonna do it glossy, I'm gonna just smudge it out. So there's no harsh line. Mm -hmm. My kids always tell me I should go on those makeup shows and I'm like, mommy's not that talented, guys. And, ooh, you know what? I don't even know if they make this anymore, but let's use this Urban Decay shine. Um, I don't like putting it right on because what if you want to use it for another lip color? Oh yeah. I forgot this is like minty too. I'll just stick it on my hand. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm going to make it look like I have lip injections. <laughs> I swear I saw the moon out my window. But I did not. Weird. Hmm, almost done. Looks better on camera than it did at first. Alright, since I already did my hair, but I'll probably be taking photos. My hair was curled, but not like done. So the easiest thing to do, comb it out. It actually looks nice like that. No, it doesn't.
Okay. Not too bad, considering the flops that we had. Hopefully next time will be better. Have a good day.